moving iron instrument or mi instrument so as the name suggests moving iron so in this instrument uh, all the things are related with this iron moving so what happens this is our circuit i will explain it later first let's see how is it working this is our circuit as you can see this is a solenoid so when current pass through it when the current is uh, supply is given current pass through this so it pass through the solenoid as a result of which magnetic field is created between this the current will pass through this this magnetic field is created so what this magnetic field will do uh, as it is in the connector is placed in the magnetic field it in it uh, feels some force now as you can see this this is the iron rod i am talking about this is our pointer by which and this is the scales through which we get the reading so initially it is in this position now when this magnetic field is created and this is the attractive type so, uh, so this rod is now attracted inside so now this only moves at this position so now as this is moving at this position now as it is moving this so deflector the this thing will deflect this is our deflection which we get again telling when pass through the solenoid magnetic field is created this iron rod moves inside and deflection in the middle takes place so by varying the magnetic fields we can get the different values now the torque equation it's an easy torque equation as the current is given some deflection is taking place with angle theta with angle theta is moving because of the inductance l okay so now it was initial condition the change that is taking place in the current leads to the change in the angle so this change in current leads to change in the angle d theta change in inductance dl so as we know e equals to ddt of li so for the differentiating it we get this so our amount of supply voltage amount of supply voltage it is nothing but now see this i dt and taking it that side so ei dt equals to since i have taken i dt that side in this expression there will be some changes it becomes li di plus i square dl okay so this is our amount of supply voltage so this is our amount of supply voltage now in initial condition initially or before the stored energy in the inductance stored so initial stored energy in the inductance we know the formula the inductance stored energy is half li square now when uh, it was the initial condition now when the inductance is applied the magnetic field is created so it is increased now stored energy in inductance when increased so the l is also increased by dl as i showed here initially i then changes di theta d theta l dl so the changes of l plus dl and i is nothing but i plus di whole square so this is our initial stored energy in inductance this is our present uh, stored energy in inductance so the change in stored energy is nothing but this minus this so this minus this half i have taken outside now solving this multiplying and all the last expression which we get is li di plus 1 by 2 i square d L. okay so this is our change in stored energy in inductance or inductance you can say or not in inductance or in inductance so this is our changed energy so now we calculated the change in stored energy and the supply voltage so there is a formula that supply voltage equals to change in energy plus mechanical work done 
So what is this mechanical work done? It is the deflecting torque that is because of which this is moving. So and the theta is the deflecting angle. Okay. So just putting the value E I D T I have calculated here. Change in stored energy I have calculated here. Mechanical work done I know. So this equals to this. When we solve this further, the deflecting torque equals to half I square dl by d theta this is the expression for deflect now the controlling torque it is proportional to theta the deflecting angle therefore tc equals to this is a constant k theta at equilibrium so we got the controlling torque we got the deflecting torque at equilibrium when these are equal this torque this torque just equal putting the values k theta this Therefore, we get theta equals to 1 by 2 i square by k dl by d theta. This is our torque equation.